Powerhouse followers. Today we're going to be making some cute little trendy fringe earrings with seed beads. Um, so a few things first is you want to go ahead and choose whatever color um, hoop you want to be working with. I do have um, one inch hammer tone um, hoops from Tiercast I'm working with today. And then I'm choosing to work with five colors. I just really like this color wave. Again, it's just going to come down to preference. I've done these with three colors and they look just as beautiful. I do have my flush cutters and then I do have some crimp pliers because I'm going to be doing this with some stringing wire from Beadalon. So I do have the 19 strand. So what that's going to mean is there are 19 individual strands all into this one. And then I am using um, 0.012 inch. So it's going to be much finer and I'm going to, it's going to have that flexibility that I would want in the fringe. And I am going with silver today. So I got the um, bright. It looks really nice um, with this color and it blends in. You shouldn't see the wire too much. Um, another thing looking at this is it has like what number crimp bead and number crimp tube I want. Um, I am working with tubes today, so I need a number one. This is kind of my go-to. I always kind of have this in a pack. Um, so I have all my size tubes I need. And I'm going to go ahead and pull out that one. Um, one thing I like to do when is keep this in its packaging because it also tells me what size crimp pliers I should be using. So I can, on this um, number one tube, I can be using a micro or a standard. Um, I personally prefer the micro um, for the number one size tubes. So that's what I'm going to be using today. And then I like to keep them in this tube, but I'm going to go ahead and just pour some of the crimps into this little uh, cap I have here. So that's going to be easy access for this video. So let's pull everything aside and get started. So I want to go ahead and start with about seven inches of this wire. And I'm just going to take my cutters and cut it right off. And then we're going to start by putting a crimp bead on or a tube. And then what I'm going to do is just put it right through the hoop, my hammer tone hoop there. And then I'm going to bring my wires through the tube. Now, one thing when you are crimping, you want to make sure that your uh, wires are coming on the opposite side and that they're not getting crossed in there. So you don't want them to get crossed. So again, making sure my crimp or my wires are not crossing. I'm going to come in and what we're going to do, let's see if I can make sure you guys, is we're going to squeeze in that first uh, little section of these pliers. And then I don't know if you can see, but there's this little uh, like crescent moon shape. So we're going to come down to that one next. So now that it's right there, we're just going to go ahead and give it a squeeze. And it should give it a crescent shape. And our wire should be on the two sides of the crimp tube. So now what you're going to do is you're going to fold it on top of itself. You're going to go out to the back to the outer side one and you're just going to squeeze and it should fold those ends right on top of each other. And then once I got them nice and folded, I just kind of go all the way around, making sure all my edges are nice and folded. So that's going to create, if you cr crimp properly, what you're going to do is you're going to end up having the wire on two different sides and then you fold them so that they get pulled together and then they're um, coming out the same place versus just squeezing it and meshing up your um, crimp tube or bead because eventually those could break or it's also going to create some wear on your wire, your stringing wire here, 
and your stringy wire could break as well. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this just a tad, but we are gonna string, we are gonna string that bit with beads. My center piece here, I'm gonna go from blue down to pink, and then I'm gonna go 16, 14, 12, 10, and eight. Okay, now we're gonna strand 16 of these on. And then when I slide these down, I wanna make sure I'm getting that access piece of the stringing wire. And it'll just get tucked nice and underneath those beads and no one will ever know. So I have 16 of this kind of teal color, and then we're gonna come in with this blue. So I'm gonna snag one, and then I'm gonna go one of this teal. And then I'll go two, and then I'll go one of this teal again. Now we're done with that teal and we're gonna come on with 14 of this blue. Okay, so we're gonna pick up a couple of these and slide them on down and now we're going to that next color. So we got 16 teal, we did the transition, 14 blue, and now we're gonna do this transition into white. So we're gonna do one seed bead of the white and then I'm just going to do one of this teal and then we're going to do two of this white and then we're going to do one teal. See how doing that little pattern, it really nicely transitions the colors into the next. So now we're gonna do 12 of this white color. This and slide them on all down. And then we're gonna do the transition into the purple. So I am making these very long because I like mine to have a longer tassel. Um, if you do not like that, then I would suggest shortening up the number um, of beads you do. Um, you could shorten them by two on each color and it would still look just as great. So again, I'm doing that transition. So I put one purple, one white, and then we're gonna come in with that two purple and that one white. And now we're gonna come in with 10 purple beads. So again, 10 purple beads, slide it down. And we're gonna do that transition into the pink. So I'm gonna grab one pink, one purple, two pink, and then one purple. And now we're gonna go ahead and do eight pink beads. Then we're gonna put this final eighth bead on. And see how that is a, a very long strand. Um, I'm just gonna kind of put this here for comparison. I did probably do it about eight longer than this other one. Um, one way to even cut that back a little bit is you don't have to do as much of a transition. I just like the way it looks. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off with a crimp bead. And then I like to grab three of that last color. So we're gonna grab three of this last color pink here. One, two, and a three. 
And then let's see, we're going to go ahead and push that string, this, uh, we're going to go ahead and push this stringing wire through the crimp bead, just like at the very beginning. I'm just going to pull it all the way through. And then we're going to go ahead and crimp it. So I'm just going to adjust all three of these beads because I want to make sure it's got a bead on each side and then one at the top. And then if you don't want your string to be hanging out, you'd rather it be tucked kind of in the beads, I suggest stringing that now. Just string a couple through and then we can cut it off. So I'm stringing that through. And now we're going to go ahead and crimp this bead. So again, I want to make sure I have enough space. To get in there, I'm going in that first little notch. And then we're going to that second one where it should be making a crescent. And then we're gonna fold that crimp tube or bead on top of itself. All right. And now I'm just gonna cut off this excess wire And there we have our first strand. And now from here, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna work out this way about three rows, and I'm gonna decrease each color by two. And it's just gonna go two all the way out.
Okay, you guys, we are done now stri stringing all of um, our beads on. So I do have a total of seven strands here. Um, I just want to remind you guys that I did start with that 16 of this teal color, 14 of this um, blue, 12 of the white, 10 of the purple, and 8 of the pink. And then going to the right, I went every strand, I decreased each color down by two. And the same with the left. Every time I went out a strand, I decreased each color by two. That way it just keeps a nice uniform look. I know that I'm taking away the same amount of beads each time. Now to finish it off, we're going to go ahead. We're going to come in with a jump ring. Whatever size jump ring you prefer. I do have a little bit bigger one with me today, but a six millimeter would work nicely. And I'm just going to slide that over. I'm going to hook on my ear wire and then we will close it up. And one of our earrings is complete. So simple, so cute. And now we're going to go ahead and complete the next earring and continue on the way.
Okay, so we've completed our second one, and now all we have to do is add that jump ring. That jump ring. And that ear wire. And then close it up. And now we have our two pairs of fringe earrings and we're ready to put them on and rock them throughout the day. All right, you guys, thank you for following and happy crafting.